Welcome back to another Sozi tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to manipulate and animate individual elements of our image using different layers. So I have some artwork brought in here on SVG, and I'm just going to minimize this right now and show you the Inkscape document. So I have a document here, and what I have, if we go to Layer, and then go to Layers, it opens up this layer, uh, Layers panel. You can check out some of my other tutorials if you're not sure how to use this Layers panel. But essentially, we can draw anything that we draw, it gets drawn on whatever layer that is. So if we disable and stop seeing the legs layer, the legs will disappear and also whatever object is on there, like this circle that I drew. And we can always go right click and then go move to layer. So I can move this black circle to the background layer if I want and click move. Now this circle is part of the background layer. So if we turn off the background, the circle and the background disappear, but everything else stays visible. So in order for this to work, you have to put things on different layers. So I have the head on its own layer, I have the left arm on its own layer, I have the shirt on its own layer, and the legs, and then the background. So once everything's on a layer like that, you just save your document as an SVG file, and that's what I have right here brought into Sozi. So this document now has different layers, so all we need to do is add a specific layer. So the first layer I'm going to add is the background. I'll add the background layer, and now when we add a frame, we can just click this plus sign to create a new frame. This frame is the default view is everything, all layers of the SVG, but the background view is just the background. What that'll let me do is zoom in and out the background if I wanted to without affecting the character. So we could just do it just like this and then add a second frame. This is our starting frame. And then the second frame, we could zoom in the background a little bit and that'll create this sort of zoom effect for zooming in without affecting the character. And then if we wanted to move the head, for example, we just go to add a layer and we it shows us the layers available in the SVG document that we just created in Inkscape. So we will move just the head, for example. And now the head is staying the same in frame one, it's staying the same in frame two, but if we want to add a third frame, we can move the head. And to do that, we select the head layer or the layer called head, and then we click on the move tool and then click on just up here, left click and hold and we can move that head back a little bit. So that creates just this movement here. Maybe we'll, and maybe we'll move it actually. Let's go to move on the head layer, move the head, and then we can also use the rotate tool. So any of the tools that we could do on an individual, uh, on our entire document, we can also use on just the level. So that creates this sort of look here, sort of looking down. And then we could also increase the size if we wanted to. So we could add another frame and just on the head, we can increase the size if we wanted to. To do that, we go to the size and just left click and hold. We could increase the size. So we can increase individual elements in our animation just by keyframing them just like that. And we could do different things at the same time. We could also move the background at the same time if we wanted to. So we can have the head, the background moving and the head increasing in size. If we want to add another layer, we can just add the arm layer. I think you're getting the idea though. So this left arm can move as well. So we would just click on the left arm and then go to a point in time and then either rotate or move that arm around in a different orientation. And then that will be doing a different thing so you can create some basic animation this way. Um, you wouldn't have to do a cartoon like this either. You could do some other things as well. We can also toggle viewing these layers just like we did in Inkscape by clicking this eye over here and we can toggle to see what all is on that layer. And this default view actually, as we add layers, it's the default view starts out with all the layers, but you see now it's all layers that haven't already been added. So we're not actually doubling up the layers, otherwise it would look sort of strange. So as we add layers, it takes them out of the default view and adds their own layer. We can also toggle whether a, sp a certain layer is visible or not. To do that, if we wanted to turn the background, for example, invisible at this frame one, we select this and then we go over to this layer opacity. So scroll down under layer and we can change the opacity of that layer of just the background to be nothing. And then we can go to the next frame and have it appear. And if we want it to be suddenly appear and not fade in like that, we can adjust the way that that transition happens under this timing function. We looked at this earlier, but we can change this. So if we want it to just be more of like a cut instead of a fade um, in and out. So there's different options we can change on each of these to make it have a different uh, look. 
Well, I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave questions and comments below if you have any. Um, there's a lot more than meets the eye to this this right here. Using layers, you can really do some advanced things. It takes a little bit of a, you have to have a, a creative view on how to handle these different layers, but it really provides a lot more functionality to your uh, presentations and animations using SOSI. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video.